Before we start our lesson for today, I am inviting all of you to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool Program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! Lights and sounds are everywhere! Whether we go to the park, the mall, or even at home. But, do you know that there are things that we cannot see and hear with our eyes and ears alone? In today's discussion, we will talk about the properties of light and sound. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of our Scientific Friday! I am Teacher Janelle and I'm on a journey again to understand the different things around us. Are you ready to join me for today's lesson? Come on! During the holiday season, we see colorful Christmas lights and lanterns and hear loud firecrackers on New Year's Eve. But there are also some who might not have seen or heard of them. We all know that light is a form of energy that lets us see things around us. Let us know more about the properties of light. Get an opaque object, say a pencil case, and place it upright on a table. Shine a flashlight on its front. You will notice that the light block behind the pencil case is a shadow. This demonstrates how light travels. Light travels in a straight line. We can say that light travels in a straight line and can only pass through transparent or translucent objects. Second, if you shine light on a shiny surface such as a mirror, the light will bounce off or be reflected by the surface. We can say that light may be reflected for some objects with smooth, shiny, and flat surfaces in a regular reflection pattern. Third, when light passes through a barrier with a small opening, it acts as a single point source from where light emerges and spreads in all directions. We can say that light diffracts, bends, and spreads out when passing through an opening. Next is the absorption of light. When you are wearing dark colored clothes during a sunny day, you will feel hotter compared when you are wearing light colored clothes. This is because dark colors absorb not only more heat, but also more light. This is why it is recommended to wear light colored clothes during sunny days or summer. We can say that the light that is not reflected is absorbed. Lastly, let's talk about refraction. One of the good demonstrations of refractions is the bent pencil in water. If you put a pencil in a glass with water, you will notice that it looks bent or broken as it touches the water. We can say that light bends as it passes through water. Refraction occurs because light travels at different speeds through different materials. When light passes through air into water, for example, it slows down. We are now done discussing the properties of light. Let us now continue to know about the properties of sound. Sound can be defined as any vibration or wave traveling through air or other medium which can be heard when it reaches a person's ear. Let us now explore the properties of sound. Sound also travels like light, but it travels slower than light. Are you familiar with cup phones? Cup phones are made of a thread and two cups. The two cups are connected together by a string which is punched through the middle of the cups. One person holds the cup next to his or her ear while the other speaks on the cup. The thread needs to be pulled tight so that the sound from the cup of the speaker 
can vibrate to the string until it reaches the listener's cup. Sound can be reflected or bounce. Do you know what an echo is? An echo is a reflected sound. When you enter an empty room and try to talk or shout, you will notice that you can hear your voice a few times. This is because the sound from you bounced from the walls of the room back to you. This is why it may seem that you hear someone repeating what you said. Sound can be absorbed and will not bounce. Have you tried going to a recording studio where musicians usually record their songs? A recording studio is usually soundproof, so that the sound or music will not be reflected or heard in other areas. Rooms are made soundproof by adding materials on the wall that can absorb sound. A good example of this material is foam. The sound can be identified and modified through its pitch and frequency. Pitch is described as the highness or lowness of sound. The pitch of a sound depends on how fast the particles of the material through which a wave travels or vibrates. This means that the pitch of a sound depends on the number of vibrations produced in a given amount of time. For example, instruments like violin and cello produce sounds with different pitches. Violins can easily produce higher pitch sounds compared to cellos. On the other hand, cellos can easily produce lower pitch or deeper sounds compared to violins. Now let's explore frequency. Frequency is the number of complete waves or cycles per unit of time. It is an especially important characteristic of sound because the human ear can only respond to certain frequencies. The average human ear is capable of detecting about 20 to 20,000 vibrations per second. For example, a dog can hear a dog whistle that you cannot hear because dogs can hear sounds at higher frequencies than humans can. The frequency of the dog whistle is higher than what your ears can hear. A dog whistle can have more than 23,000 vibrations per second. Now that was a long discussion. Let's have a short recap. Light and sound are both forms of energy. Both of them travel in waves. Light allows us to see the things around us, while sound allows us to hear the things around us. Keep in your mind that light and sound energy enable us to see and hear everything around us. Before we end our lesson for today, I am inviting you again to join us in a magical learning experience at home. Enroll now at Vival's Happy Homeschool program. You can find the details at the description part of this video. Hope to see you there! I hope you learned a lot today and apply these learnings in your daily lives. Join me again for our next Scientific Friday. And together, let us discover things around us. Because science is everywhere. This has been Teacher Janelle for Teacher Vibal. Goodbye, everyone!